Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pretty much just a market overview by myself. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen right now. Um, give you guys input on what I'm seeing. Um, share screen. Make sure I'm sharing the right thing. All right. Share the screen. Share screen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yo guys, DXY. Um, real, real quick. Um, yo, D DXY is looking bullish, right? Uh, but as far as what I'm seeing on here, I'm just more so. I'm more so just understanding that you know, um, even with the market being the way that they are, even the market being um, volatile, right? You know, understanding that the DXY, DXY is the is the reason a lot of uh, USD pairs move, right? So um, we've reached a, a key resistance area, pretty much um, 786, 886 area that we can now reject off of, right? And we already see rejecting happening when you go on, a, when you go on, a, you know, lower time frames. Uh, main reason I like to be aware of what's going on with the DXY is just because of this right here, right? So if you if, you, if we expect to see a bullish DXY, right? Generally, this is how it happens, right? If you're expecting a bullish DXY, guys, expect um, it generally means that you know anything USD XXX like UJ USD CAD USD CHF will go higher, and XXX USD will go lower right i don't take it so literal but just more so take it as you know uh, an input for whatever you want to do on your own personal charts right whenever you're whenever you're on the charts right and just take advantage of it as a whole right so i'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys a few pairs that i'm looking at um on the new york side of things I, i'm looking at ad usd right ad usd more so um coming out to four hour time frame Given that you know I'm seeing some strength from it from the from the USD, um, I'm looking for you know from that high point to this low point. I would love to see um, NZD, I mean AD USD, come back into these uh, premium areas, right, and ultimately sell from the this zone. Well, it could make it there, like it could not make it there. But over here we got an equal low, right? E equal low. Um, I want you guys to notice here when you jump down to the one hour, two hour time frame, right? You jump down to the two hour time frame, um, you can see the clear possibility of a, a possible, um, if price makes it back into this area, have an alert about at 72,900 to potentially catch itself from down here and continue it all the way to the ground. But the way this is looking, um, the way this is looking right now, given that we're so close to this area, I'd more so love to see, um, um, and, uh, see it hit this area, give us the execution for the buy up. As soon as we get the execution for the buy up right here, I will take it all the way to this high, and potentially that's just a that's a like a ten pip stop loss, um, and it's about like literally a five to one risk to reward trade. If you want, you can take it all the way to seventy one percent, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that's up to you guys. You know, that's really up to you. But me, I'm on the person be taking it to this high and then potentially uh, up here to get this potential entry if market makes it there right uh, given i'm seeing that how you know dxy is operating we may be able to just get this entry here take it up that'll be nice and uh, this sell already happened right but i can see a possible re-entry it coming back to the area hitting 50 percent of the zone whether it's going to be on the hourly or the two hour i don't really know right um for those of you guys who just hopped on just know that this is going to be pretty much really fast paced i'm just going to be showing you what i'm seeing that could happen in the market this coming week um, but don't, don't even, don't take my entries so literal. Like if these are, they're going to be, these are, if these are really going to be the entries, I'm probably going to post it in the chat, but I'm making, I'm doing this that way. If I don't get to post any of the, any of the markups in the chat, you guys can still take advantage of it. Right. So that's what I see on AD USD majority of sales. I like to see this buy happen for the sell, right. Buy the sell. Um, here, your USD, your USD, um, same thing here. I'm, I'm, I'd like to see a, a short-term buy, right, to eventually catch a sell down, right? So um, I'm going to just call it right here, go on a daily time frame. Um, over here, possibility that, you know, we you could have probably already entered this buy-in, right? The last down candle before the prior movement. Uh, we came and tested exactly, like, literally, like, it's crazy how these things happen. Like, we came and tested the 50%, right? If you, had, if you had taken the trade from the 50%, um, you're currently in profit, you know, and on that trade idea. Um, but as it is, you know, there's pullbacks that happen in the marketplace. So uh, going down to lower time frame, as I'm looking at it, I would love to see if I go into one hour, excuse me. Was it one hour or was it two hour? Two hour. Something about a two hour that just sits well with me. 
Um, so it's where we're here from the opening price. You're looking at a, about a 10 pip stop loss, right? 10 pip stop loss price could come down here, react off of uh, 88.6, right? Or just the opening price and now take it uh, to equal highs, clear to equal highs and net. Next up would be this point of interest right here that's on the two hour, right? So taking it to that point of interest, right? Which would mean there's a possible area where we could sell off. But me personally, for myself, I like to see price um, just rebalance itself back in these zones, either the 78, even either the 886, the 71% where there's an imbalance here. So you get to choose your entry. Don't, don't just focus on the entry that I have here. Um, but you get to choose your entry anywhere within the zone from about 18, 20, 18 uh, 20, 0, 20, 0, 24 till about like 18, 250. And those are good areas to get in. So anything that's within there, I would suggest just set an alert and, you know, set it and forget it, you know, set an alert. If once it gets there to get it, get a reaction and get out of the market. Right. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. So back to the noun, um, NZD, USD, NZD, USD. I was looking for this sell off last week. Um, I was looking for this sell last week. Um, I got the initial sell, um, but now I'm, I'm trying to see if we can get a continuation of this sell, right? Uh, I personally missed my entry on this. Um, let me see if I back it up. Yeah, I, remember, I personally missed my entry on it, but I still believe that we can still make it back up, right? So market can still decide to, you know, as to pull up, right? Market could decide to pull up for it to pull up. We need a point of interest. We have a, you know, last down candle here for prior movement. Looking at it very, very just simply just the way it is off the four hour. This looks like a good reaction. Um, I believe we kind of already reacted there. So if price can hold that whole support zone, right? So here on the two hour, we have a better point of interest. So like, let me just put it to this, right? On two hour, if you can see price come, come, come about reacting there, right? Given that, um, you know, it's kind of a fall on knife as it is, right? If we can see price react and hold there, we could see potential retracement right back up into you know 71%, um, even potentially into this whole area right here. But now that's just uh not all depends on what market wants to do, right? Uh, markets could decide to just run, um, let's say from these high city lows, right? Not high to this low, and just only come back into the 71% that's right here and right here as well. Um, but personally, I'm favoring anything that's within this imbalance right above, right? We've kind of already traded into it, but we still got an imbalance here. We still got supplies on here as well. So um, personally speaking, I would love to see uh, this right here drop to the floor, right? I would like to see it right here drop to the floor. But for it to drop to the floor, we need to catch a buy up and then to sell, buy up to sell. So um, more or less, if you're looking on a two hour, right? Looking on a two hour following, um, you know, that candlestick. Also, uh, stop below the lows about 10, 10 pip stop, more or less. You don't need more than that. Um, and then just take this all the way up to about like 71%. You have a, a five to one risk reward trade idea. Like, you know, even if you get a three to one, like 50 pips, you're, you can be out, you can be done. You don't have to hold it all the way up. Um, but anywhere in these zones, I'd be, I'd be willing to see a possibility of. Um, more downside from these areas if this holds as the resistance, right? If not, you could really pop into, you know, this imbalance here and then catch yourself from there, right? So that's what could happen with, with this. Switching over UJ. Um, I don't want to go over UJ, to be honest. Um, let me switch it over. UJ, I'm going to just show you guys just because, just for the sake of showing you. Um, our reset chart. So you hear here on the daily, here on a daily time frame, um, how I'm seeing this, you know, from the high point to the low point right here. Um, I'm seeing UJ gain, gain, have more bullishness. Personally, I, I want to see it go ahead and, and clear um, this eight hour right here. There's a liquidity point there I, I marked up that's at a, the 78.6 of the fifth confluence. So I believe as we make it to that high, right, we can now get a rejection and that's going to bring us more towards the downside and potentially come back and grab this point of interest right here right um this looks this is an eight hour point of interest but you know guys uh, on on the on the four hour you will still see the point of interest on the on the two hour you'll still see it um i believe we can now come get this point of interest right here that's down below and now you know shoot it up but as of right now um i'm seeing i'm, I'm mainly looking for the possibility of a sell because right now we traded in the accumulation we're trading up as we make it into these areas i want to look for majority sells from anywhere up here, right? Anywhere from this about one, 110, 800, 
till about um, yo one eleven three fifty eight, right? So all these zones is good places to enter. Plus, look at it. You have a last up candle before the down move. This last up candle cleared major liquidity. So it's a, it's a highly probable for what I'm looking at to play out. Already here on off of this four hour last up candle for the down move, already seeing a potential reaction. But it's so bullish that you know I don't believe we're gonna get really get a a rejection, right? It, um, especially if the DXY decides to keep pumping up, right? But uh, once again, stick to what you see, trade what you see, and not necessarily what's happening with the DXY. Um, on uh, that's it for UJ. So I personally, I'd be looking for a sell anywhere here. Um, you don't need any more. You don't need more than twenty to twenty-five pip stop loss with UJ. That's even a lot of stop. Like twenty pip stop, you gonna be good. Like you can see this. If I entered right here, right at that seventy-one. My stop loss would be probably the next the next zone, which would be like about 20 pips, right? So, and then your potential gain is all the way down here. If you look at this on a daily, we have that's about 142 pips that you can gain. Um, and wait for price to come to this point of interest, right? This daily last down candle before the prior movement, right? So um, this is very bullish, right? So uh, now I'm down to GU, 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 GU. Um, GU guys, um, I'm personally looking at this going from. I think I was marking this up. Yes, I want to see more downside on GU personally. Um, I was looking at these areas, yes, but I like the premiums better, right? 71, 786, 86. Just those areas are just the they, they're speaking to me, right? So <laughs> I'm gonna stick to that. So here we have the two hour last up counter for the down move. Um, 50% of that would be an ideal entry. Uh, but then again, also the opening price, we don't always make it to the 50%. So I, I'm trading from the opening price. My stop loss is going to be at uh, 50%. If I get stopped out, I'll re-enter at that point in time. But for now, um, that's more so how I want to be looking at it. How I just want to go about uh, trading this. Um, I personally wait for one of the educators, you know, um, within the platform to give us a, a buy scenario right here. Uh, I see the possible buy scenario, the same thing that like I'm seeing on UJ, but it's so obvious that I, I kind of don't want to take it. I'd rather the one on, on EU better than the one on GU. Um, but it's still there uh, for potential upside for us to now come catch either, you know, this last prior up candle for the down move here and balance this here between these two prices. Right? So these this right here that I identified as an imbalance for going to one hour. You guys can see um you know that candle that sweet liquidity here which just shows supply so it's a possibility that price can come back in right and react right here right because we have uh, equal highs here so price coming in reacting right there would make sense and we have a clear one hour candle here i didn't even identify that earlier today um but i want to see how we react there this could be the possible you know the possibility of what we need to react upside i'm personally going to be on john dolly's session um on the market overview he does at 5 p.m. today. Um, so you guys, if you guys have steady, or even if you don't, you can actually still hop on the session and um, tune into him and like, just see what he says. So I'm gonna be on the session just confirming what I'm already seeing myself, cross-checking, and just, just to give me more confidence. I don't need to be in the live sessions, but you know, it, it gives me a lot of confidence to know that someone that makes set high seven-figure income um, is seeing what I'm seeing, right? So. <laughs> I don't play with taking my trades when, when it comes to that, right? So, um, so right here, hit this area and I'm taking it up to the upside. Um, so now going back to the, the GBP's gold for now, and I'm not seeing nothing too crazy, but you know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pop it out real quick. Gold, I want to see gold come back into these areas, you know, 71, 71, 886, uh, take your flips from the low to the high, just on a one hour, four hour, no matter the time frame that you see it on, right? Um, there's a point of interest right here. There's a point of interest right there. But I rather this point of interest because we're going to be able to trade in within the wicks. So possibly, um, hold on. What, which time frame was this? Um, hold on. Was this the yeah? Hold on. I just want to see what time frame this was. On. Okay, this is a thirty minute. I'm good. So basically, on the thirty minute, I'm seeing last up candle before the prior down movement. That was like a, a wick news, right? So anything that comes into the area where I can grab the opening price, my stop loss would be 50%. Uh, if I get stopped out, I'll just re-enter the same, the same area with my stop loss above the wicks, right? If not, if you just want to really trade with premium prices, you can just get right at the wick, like at the bottle, at a, at a candlestick closure, 
and just take price to the downside, right? So that's personally what I'm seeing on gold. I'm going to wait for that. Um, of course, there's a nice buy here playing out. Like, uh, there's a nice buy here playing out. Um, if if price could make it anywhere just back to this 40 area and hold, I would, I would, I'd be tempted to take the buy all the way up, right? But if it doesn't, you know, let the market set up. Um, let the market set up and, you know, show you what it's doing. You know, don't just jump in the market show you so if the market were, were to come anywhere here i'd be i'd be in favor to take it all the way up back into you know these 75 76 you know even potentially um yes like even potentially 80 area and just drop back down right and keep going to the floor and keep in mind that you know gold can do whatever it wants to do and you know we got a big wig to fill out that's not been filled and then, you know, I, I'm seeing very much lows. Go to go these lows, right? Is it gonna happen right now? I don't know. I have no idea what the market is gonna do. I just understand what I want to see in the market, right? And what I want to see doesn't always happen, but I'm I'm gonna react accordingly. I'm gonna react accordingly to whatever is going on in the marketplace as a whole. So I suggest you guys do too, right? I really suggest everybody does as well. Um, USD CAD, um, USD CAD. What's going on with this? Um, this, um, yeah, like this is currently just selling off. If I can, if I can, if it, if this could pull back, right, I would, I would sell it too, right. If it could pull back, but I missed that one by a long shot. If we could somehow pull back, you know, gain some U.S. strength, uh, get an entry there, I would, I would love to keep selling this all the way down. Potential buy opportunity down here, but I would just wait for it to happen, like. Wait for the reaction, wait to see if price holds the area. But overall, uh, looking at USD CAD on a four hours time frame, um, this looks like this is gonna tumble all the way down to come ahead and clear these lows. And at that point, at that moment, because right, right now, once we clear these equal lows here, um, at that point, we're probably gonna go ahead and clear these equal lows down here. And then we can probably see entries within the balances here or within these points, right? But when it comes to that, I'll just go ahead and send it. Um, out so it can everyone can take advantage of it um, as is on the pound I only got two two things I'm looking at on the pound um, on the pound GJ um, I was able to catch a buy last week if price can come back into this imbalance react off of this I could see more upside right um, I can definitely see more upside if price can come back and react within this imbalance I, I believe this imbalance was 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 drawn up based off the four hour, yes. Um, so this reaction into this, either the 50% or the opening of the imbalance, taking it into either um, this point of interest here or uh, the daily point of interest as a whole, right? So daily point of interest, we have a daily last up candle here before the down move. Price could go ahead and shift us and bring us all the way to this area first now get a, a potential sell off uh, to, for more downside, right? Um, GCAT as well, another another pair I'm looking at. I know Manny looks a lot at this as well. Um, right now, you know, it really just broke down. If I go back to what we're seeing earlier this week, um, I've been looking at a trade from the four hour time frame. reacted, had my stop, but, but like literally above the wick. Um, price came in, reacted, dropped. I got out somewhere around here, right? Um, but so I know some people are probably still holding it, but for myself, I'm out of this trade. Um, but I want to see see how far price goes. Whenever once whenever price stops, I'll now look for an entry and I'll probably post it within our chats for everyone else to be able to take advantage of and just win with it. So that's that's what I'm seeing on here. For anything concerning BTC on um, on all of that, for right now I'm not even touching on that because I, I want to let the market flow. And you know we have an amazing platform with amazing educators that talks on cryptos all the time, right? That talks on what BTC is about to do. So definitely, if that's something you want, definitely, um, definitely reach out or just get plugged in, get plugged into educators and really just get it done, right? So that's what that's kind of what I was seeing for this week, as far as you know, charts, markups. Um, I'm really focused on really more so what's going to happen here on G GCAD. And GJ and even looking looking back to it, GBP odd as well. Um, these are all pairs that are looking really really good. But I want to I want to wait for price to adjust themselves, and then we can now reassess whether we're going to be able to play these areas again, or whether we're going to have to now pick new points of interest, right? 
Um, you know, all, all this is just FIP confluence. You know, price came back in, tested in 88.6, and it's already dropping, right? So um, I really want to wait and see if price can, not, can come back to give us these zones. But for now, this looks like it's going to come clear to lows and then uh, potentially find more lows. But if there's any pullback, I'm sure you're going to see anything that's within our chats. It doesn't be able to update you and just really uh, help you grow. Right. So that's what I'm seeing, guys. Um, it's definitely a pleasure to hop on, share this with you. Uh, if you guys